Hmm, interesting. Jason Genova is a likeable, charismatic bodybuilder with special needs that has been on a quest for internet fame for over 10 years. He is also a tyrannical cult leader that unleashes his army of trolls upon innocent people for fun and extorts money from his fans at every opportunity. The cast list of his soap opera are a set of equally odd and interesting self-proclaimed freaks whose trials and tribulations have captivated fans for over a decade. This is the Jason Genova story. Shit down your neck. I'll fucking cut you up and dump you in the Everglades. I'm more powerful than the Pope, basically. You and Lenny got hands down the biggest crowd ovation and cheer when you guys went on stage. You know what? I think me and Lenny are like the Pope. John Paul and Pope the second. Very powerful. We have a lot of power. Hello guys, how's it going? You alright? Today we're going to be creeping around the shadowy corners of the YouTube fitness community, namely Jason Genova, the Delray Misfits and the army of fans named the Piss Troopers that Jason would use to intimidate innocent people into giving him what he wants. But before we go knuckle deep into YouTube's bumhole, this is called foreshadowing. Let's meet Jason. The monkey prick thing, it has to stop. I'm not a monkey, I'm a freaking human being. I deserve respect. I'm not a monkey, I'm a human being. I'm still a human, I don't deserve that. Also another thing is today I'm training shoulders, traps and shoulders, trapezium muscles, shoulders and triceps. And another thing is, all another thing is, is all to all my haters, shut up. Look at this stupid fucking handicap chair I'm in. Here I'm on crap. Baby, yeah, baby. Woo! 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 Nature boy, Ric Flair. Uh, you must pay me $100 billion. I'm Dr. Evil. All right, baby. Peace out, bud. He is an ex UFC fighter. A certified personal trainer. No. Hammer curl works all your tricep. Hammer curl works your tricep? Yep. Are you sure? Works your tricep. Okay. Hammer curl works your tricep and your deltoid. Oh man. Whoa! Oh Like I said, you have the lower body and you have no upper body. You got a problem, you got a problem building. Wait a minute. You have an upper body and you have no legs. You have an upper body, you have no legs, you got a problem building the legs. You have an upper you have the you have the lower body and you don't have the upper body, the upper body, it's easier to build. So if you have the lower body and you don't have the upper body, it's easier to build the upper body. You have the upper body and, and you don't have the legs, you got a problem building the lower body. No, you don't understand. You have the upper body, but you don't have the lower body. You got a problem building downstairs. You got the up the legs on the bottom, it's it's easy to build the top. It's easy to build. If you have the lower body... Dude, I just woke up. I don't want to have a fucking aneurysm. Well, just let me say, if you have a, Please lower, don't explain if that you have shit a lower again. body, it's easy to build a top body. You have a, a, a upper body and no legs, you got a problem. He really loves Natalie Portman. Natalie Portman, okay? Natalie Portman has been a star nearly her, her whole life, but she has been speaking a new truth about her industry and ha has herself the Vogue Lux. Or... Actress shares them with, yep, Vogue, Vogue of Light. Okay, Natalie, this is Natalie right here. Let me read you a page of her. Very early in the director, Michael Men's 1995 crime drama, Heat, before the film first seizure, like armed robbery, before those children, chilling, hick, Hickory Mass, before all the uh, p p p p piano, Picasso, and Robert De Niro, Dark Dust, her, their cat, and moose hunt. I had an absolute boner staring at this picture all night last night of Natalie Portman. What? Had a boner. Staring at a picture of? Natalie Portman modeling. Oh my god, do you think that's a little too much information? <laughs> Who cares? I like the girl. I want to have her. <laughs> 
taught you to talk like this? Uh, sl uh, 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 street people. He is a rapper named Jay Cream. Wake the baby! I come from the East Coast, West Coast! You know the flavor! 60 stack, baby! I'm the real jammer! <laughs> baby, I'm the ice cream, baby! You know the flavor! I'm a real bad jammer! You know the flavor, baby! Natalie Portman, you're my baby! I'm the real ice cream jammer! You know the flavor! I'm the real wangster! Eminem, you ain't got shit on me! Ali, I'm the real jammer! Hit the little bumblebee! I'm the real fly, baby! You got nothing on me! A master chef. This has got to be kind of entertaining. For the fans, right? You think they're enjoying this, Jason? Yeah, they're enjoying it. Watch them that. sweat it out. Look at the sweat. That's not from cooking. That's from working out. Although... No, Jason. Jesus Christ. Oddly, really good at history. Getting a shout out, Hayoashi or Hayoashi from Japan. Sorry about the uh, Pearl Harbor incident, the Asian stuff. That was a long time ago, 2012. A bodybuilder. I flex my but I like shit. And he is definitely not fat. I'm getting a bit six helping. <laughs> We eat, we see fat, 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 fat. We blow up in town. And the fat is gonna blow up. We eat some small daughtery. Some fat, fat, fat. Fat, fat, fat. Some fat, fat, fat chicken. All the way. So you clog your arteries and explode by. So, that's Jason. Another big part of the story are the Delray misfits. So let's meet them. This is Sal. He's a war veteran who fought in the Korean War, a jeweler, and an all-round nice guy. What is this? This is a website called YouTube. And there you are last week. What is it, you? Y-O-U. Hi. As in... Y... O U. This is Big Richard, an ex-hippie stockbroker who worked as a bodyguard for the Mafia. I want to have a talk with you. Last night my daughter was on Facebook. Yeah. And she was talking to you. And you were saying shit to her that I don't fucking like vulgar shit. Uh oh. And I don't want you fucking doing that anymore. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, I, I'm fucking pissed off because I find out it's fucking you talking to her dirty. I mean, I don't want to fucking tear your throat out and shit down your neck. I'll fucking cut you up and dump you in the Everglades. Right. Don't fucking do it again, okay? Yeah. I don't want you talking to my daughter on the fucking right. Facebook. All right. All right. Make sure I'm not fucking around. Right. Maybe for New Year's, I'm gonna rock your world. <laughs> nice guy, huh? Nice guy. <laughs> This is Mike, the quick-witted murder mystery author with cerebral palsy. I just want to be like you, only with bigger legs. Fuck you, man. All you need is what I got between my legs. You know what my nickname was in high school? Okay. Tripod. They used to call me Tripod or really? Anaconda. Yeah. And you can figure out why. Is they that because you swallowed me... your food without chewing? Or why was that? Lack of table manners or what? <laughs> Oh, fuck you. Richard, you get me one of these things for Christmas, you cheap son of a bitch. I'll tell you what, I will if you tattoo my name on your arm. I'll tattoo your name on my ass, right by my asshole. Okay. That. That's what I'll fucking do. Well, that's your best side anyway, right? Right, right. That is my best side. This is Andrew, the cameraman and creator of the Delray Misfits. And this is Brad, the straight-talking postman. Him and Jason have a bit of a love-hate relationship. You're a living abortion. Your vagina hurts today, you little fucking bitch. Look at you fucking tub of shit. More shitty for me, and you wonder why you're deformed. How's your shit knuckles? <laughs> knuckles deep. Did you get wrist deep yet? Can't wait to go fist deep in his ass today. Beating. Beating. Shut up. Right, I'm, insp I'm inspirational, bro. You wanna I'm, see that? Okay. I motivate a lot of people. I motivate a lot of people. That's why I was in fucking busy Jason, about it. a lot of people. Came take up. it off speakerphone, no, chief. No. You know what? Get the fuck out of my face. Yeah. Yeah. That's what a real bodybuilder looks like. Well, mostly a hate relationship, I guess. This is Jay Masters, the bedroom bully. Orenthal James Simpson. <laughs> University of Southern California. Get the back. 32. Bam. And I'm ready to kill white bitches that have little black babies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. 
my golly. Get the scum Look between the toes, Jay. Oh my god. Look at that. Get the, oh my god. Get the scum between the toes. Those toes belong to Jason's mum. And speaking of his mum, this is her. Hi, how are you, how doing? you doing, Don King? Great. How are you, sir? I'm a YouTube celebrity. I got my own t-shirt company. <laughs> I love this man. <laughs> I did a speech when I was in high school. I had a dream. Yes, right on, girl. How you doing? You do this. You go to the bathroom, you get your phone, you, you, you... Stop it! Stop it! And this is Big Lenny. Big Lenny is a mystery wrapped in an enigma, wrapped in a blanket of transsexual porn, and he has an interesting story in his own right, so I've already made a video about him. Check it out at the end of this video. My personal favorite is this guy who sometimes walks by and flexes his muscles, then just keeps on walking. There are many more cast members, but I would be here all day if I listed them all. So let's just get on with the main part of the story. Jason's early days on YouTube saw him introducing himself as Jason Giovanni, lifting weights, doing stunts, talking shit about other YouTube celebrities and addressing the already large amount of trolls that he had accumulated. Hello, this is Jason Giovanni. Uh, I grew up in Northridge, California um, in 1985, February 22nd, 1985. Um, uh, my favorite hobbies were um, sports. I used to be a semi-pro UFC fighter. Um, I used to do other sports as well. Um, I also was a um, very uh, serious semi, uh, not semi-pro bodybuilder. And as well, I'm trying to go pro, and I'm going to do whatever it takes to go pro, even if I have to uh, sacrifice my body to go to the pros. I'm the real deal. I'm a tough. Tough, tough, cocky, son, cocky person. I'm not fat, by the way. I'm not. And I'll explain why I'm not fat. And I'm going to explain right now. I got my body fat ch tested at FAU at a, at a tub for 10 bucks, and I got 14%, was actually in the, in, the, in, the, in the good ring. And by the way, I'm going to let you know, I'm not fat for a reason. I'm off-season. I'm 30 pounds off-season. Um, I'm not fat. And I'm, let, me, let me tell you, I'm, the reason why is because I'm off-season. When I, I'm 200 pounds right now, but when I'm during contest, I'm going to be 176 shredded middleweight. But right now, I'm off season. Bodybuilders, what they do is they like to bulk up off season. He also released a documentary called My Story Part One, which gained him a little bit of notoriety in the fitness community. It wasn't until he met Andrew that his career really took off. Andrew would film him working out and posing around the World Gym in Delray Beach, Florida. The two of them fell out about the time that an internet troll called Chad offered to buy Jason a camera if he handed over his YouTube passwords. Andrew didn't think that this was a good idea but Jason went ahead and did it anyway so Andrew started to film the other patrons at the gym and the Delray Misfits were born. After a short time Jason and Andrew made up and Jason joined the Misfits. The Delray Misfits channel grew as it was the living embodiment of the Florida meme. An odd collection of misfits to be sure, but real people with real lives that weren't interested in internet fame. Well, apart from Jason. And who the fuck do you think you are talking shit about people that work a nine to five job? What's what's your reason behind that? Because who wants where to work you, a nine Where to did you hear job? that? This is my opinion. I listen to all the rich, rich and the famous shit. What? Life and rich and the famous from the 80s. And they put down people that work a nine to five job? Yeah. yeah. You think that's funny? It's kind of cool, actually. Yeah. You're a fucking little shithead scam artist like you. <laughs> to be honest with you. Who cares? Say that again, I'm smacking you. I promise you. <laughs> Jason seemed obsessed with being famous and making money to the point where he was unable to let anyone else have any screen time. I guess we should at this stage address Jason's disabilities. Many people say that Jason has autism or Asperger's, but Jason denies this. I am not autism. You're wrong. If you met me in person, my producer would tell you I'm not that. I'm dyslexic, OCD, and ADE. That's my disabilities, right, Andrew? That's me shaking my head, yes. Yes. I'm not fucking autism. Autism people can't drive, they can't hold three jobs like I'm holding, and work, even a, I would do for a moving company. If I was autism, would I be able to lift fucking furniture all around all day? No. Would I be able to hold signs and hand out business cards? No. Some people even say that he's faking the whole thing, which I don't think is the case, but honestly I don't know, so make your own mind up I guess. 
anyone to get involved with Jason Genova is is going to have trouble. I'll tell you that much. The kid is, the man is trouble, and he knows what he's doing. Let me tell you guys, a lot of it is, is a lot of how he acts is an act. Um, I think he does, he, of course, he has some um, issues going on, and I would never, I would never pick on him or call him names or whatever it is, but this guy is something else. He's all about himself. Almost every conversation we've ever had, he tried to get money out of me, or he tried to get everything he's ever, we talked about, it's for, about Jason, 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 Jason. One thing that is for sure is that Jason likes to consume large amounts of energy drinks and pre-workout supplements, which is why he's hyper a lot of the time. And he likes to stuff his fat little face with food. Mmm. <laughs> vomit. Yes, I am gonna vomit, you're right. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> if there's one thing that Jason loves more than food, it's money, which is why his fans gave him the nickname the Iron Extortionist. Jason is well known for asking his fans or other members of the Delray Misfits for cash to fill up his car with petrol and he's always trying to hustle whatever he can out of the people around him. Number and then they start calling and harassing me, private number. What are they saying to you? Oh, I want a shout out. Just a shout out. Can I have a shout out? It's my birthday. Fuck you, pay. <laughs> <laughs> what makes you think you can ask, ask Lenny for one of those cameras that a fan sent to him? What makes you think you're entitled to one of those? He's probably never going to use it. Anyway. Huh? Sure he's going to. He said he's going to use it. But those people that sent him those cameras uh -huh. sent them to him. Yeah, but if, if they wanted you to have a camera, they would send it to you. I'd be surprised if he doesn't. They sent it to him, not you. I'd be surprised if he doesn't use it. Though. Well, you said your grandma's going to buy you one for your birthday, right? Or my girl. Go either way or your girl? Yeah, either way around. So somebody's going to get you a camera. Anyway, yeah. Did you fart? No. That's your breath, isn't it? Yeah. You're disgusting. Of uh, the bodybuilding expo, yeah. a lot of my fans wanted to see me. Over 2,000 fans wanted to see me. They were pissed okay. that I didn't show up to the expo. I'm sorry I didn't show up to the expo. It was last minute. It was last minute. Okay. And nothing about it this year because I was tied up in getting ready for a show in September. So I didn't know about it. A lot of my fans. Oh, Jesus. Hey, Piggy. What'd you, what'd you oh. 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 You better watch out, bro. Did you eat that shit? Shut up. I'm I'm That's hanging on by a thread, literally. I'm right. trying. What happened to you? Your life is hanging by a thread. Life is hanging by a thread. Oh, watch out. Did people actually spend their own money? Yes, really. And are you planning on reimbursing them? No, I'm going next year to make it up to them. So you use her for clickbait? Yeah, basically. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Truth comes out. Yeah. Truth serum. I don't give a fuck. Me and her are just. It's okay. So the videos with her in it, you get more views? Really? Mm -hmm. Nice. So just keep keep using her. Are you, are you paying her or is she paying you? She paying me. What? <laughs> yeah, it's great. You fucking scamming motherfucker, man. I gotta hand it to you though. Hey, anybody that gives you money is fucking dumber than you. <laughs> His trolls soon realized his weakness for money and began to exploit this. Yo, Gideon, you said you're my friend and shit. You said you were going to send me 100, 150 bucks. That's a lie. So, you know what? We ain't friends anymore. Don't fucking come down and do a video. You lied to me. You said you are going to send me 100, 150 dollars. And you sent me three dollars. And I opened and I get three freaking dollars. Let me tell you something, Gideon. You say you're my friend. You said you're going to send me 100, 150 dollars. And you sent me three dollars. No, you, you said one hundred, one hundred fifty dollars. You sent me three dollars. That's some type of friend, okay? Yeah, but maybe he needs money for diapers, like he said. I need money for diapers. You said you were gonna send me one hundred, one hundred fifty dollars. Okay, well, he, need, he needed money for the avalanche, well, man. Well, you told so you told me one hundred, one hundred fifty dollars. So that's a lie. Plus, I caught you in a lie. Plus, now I didn't just catch yeah, you. Yeah, no, nobody ever catches you in lies, right, Jason? Well, yeah. But now you <laughs> <laughs> look at him. You're not look my at him friend. You're look not at him my, smirking. You're not my friend anymore. <laughs> no, no more videos. No more videos. No more videos with Gideon. That's it. Funny. Open it. What a treater. Whoa, it's a note. <laughs> <laughs> There's a note. <laughs> Read it. It's empty. Hold on, hold it's on. It's Gideon stupid. A dollar. Wait, wait, Jason, I was going to send you a tablet, but a man named Gideon 
convinced me to give it to him. So here's a dollar. Lots of love, Walter Reynolds. Hey man, you got a dollar though. Okay? <laughs> you know what you do with that dollar? Go buy a lotto ticket with that dollar. I'm, I'm, I'm throwing this garbage. This is absolute <laughs> shit. Can I have the dollar then? You can have the dollar. Oh, you're my man. Thank Yo. you. Jason just gave me money. I don't believe it. And I got it on film too. <laughs> That pissed me off, bro. That's not a nice fan. That's a the ghost. The ghost of Gideon will always haunt Jason. On the topic of trolls, this has been a favourite pastime for many people ever since Jason first appeared online. Some of the more extreme examples are the times that the trolls have pretended to be an attractive woman online and asked Jason to stick his finger up his ass and take a photo of it. This has happened a few times now and Jason seems always ready and willing to dig around his manhole for the promise of an attractive woman. Jason seems to get tricked in this way a lot online and always seems to believe the trolls, whether it's him being the leading role in a new Star Wars movie, the face of a new supplement company, or them just calling in names. Seriously, why the fuck would you do that? Why would you do that? I was just wearing my speed on that fucking girl like me. Come on, come on, come on, we want to see it. Listen, at least if you're going to show your dick, fluff it up a little bit, for Christ's sake. Yeah. What the fuck was that mushroom cat? <laughs> That Dolan Duck, the fake profile, that's why I didn't add him. Who the fuck is Dolan Duck? He pretends to be a duck, he's not. He's a fucking scam artist. You know why I raised you, Brian? Because, one, you called me a pudding head 50,000 times on Facebook, and I got sick of it looking at that word pudding head, because I'm not dumb, I freaking work four jobs, and I'm a certified IFA personal trainer, aerobics instructor, and kickboxer. And you're making fun of me? Calling me a pudding head? You know they troll my fucking account like crazy. Like, like, we make 30 comments, nasty comments. You're fat, you're a retard, you're a slob. When I'm not a slob and I'm not fat. Jason has had many fitness coaches over the years that have tried to get him into shape for bodybuilding contests, but these have never worked out very well. Many of them have tried to use him for his fame, but Jason always milks them for every penny that they're worth and drives them so insane that they end up leaving. The coaches that he has had that seem on the level end up getting frustrated with Jason's overeating and lack of commitment to working out, or they've been chased away by Jason's trolls slash fans. While we're on this topic, Jason's fans are called the Genova Witnesses. They are an odd bunch of fans who seem to continuously troll Jason, but they also stick up for him when an outsider tries to mess with him. I actually think that the Genova Witnesses are the most interesting part of this story. They have their own language with terms like piss and sick or pissening and sickening, meaning many different things depending on the context. Terms like meant, which means Jason's content or the things that he says. This comes from the time that Jason misread a poster in the locker room of the gym. Arnold, and enjoy the 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 mint. Let's enjoy some of the mint. Woo, nature boy, Rick Flair, come on, baby. If you don't, if you don't do it and you don't breathe, you don't see. Exactly. Girls are so scared of me on the street and everything. Now they're run because I'm a fucking bullet beast like Beauty and the Beast. I'm the animal I become. Hey, Jason Stain, I heard you play those old movie transporters. Well, I can shove your my fist up your transporter ass, your candy ass. Bam, baby, nothing but a penis. Woo! Shoulders and trampezes, mother. I'm mad. Unleash the beast in me. Unleash the demon. The demon's unleashed. You mess with the wrong peanut, baby. You can kiss my ass, Eddie Guerrero and Chris Benoit, because I'm gonna fight you in a match. Oh, yeah, you're dead. So I can't fight you, you pieces of shit. Pikachu! I should have shut up. Pikachu! It's Pikachu time. <laughs> Pikachu. I can't calculate. Dyslexia is hard. It's a very difficult disability to cope with. You you can overcome that definitely. Yeah, I can. I know I can. You just gotta. You just. A lot thicker though in person. I mean, people don't know how really thick I really am. You are thick though. Oh, very wow. thick. Very thick. You got some huge calves. Yeah, they're gigantic. Yeah, but sometimes nobody shows up and you automatically win. The Genova witnesses are a bit cultish, with Jason being the unlikely cult leader. Well, maybe cult is a bit strong. They're not on the same page or even in the same book as a cult, but they are in the same section of the library, if you know what I mean. It's hard to quite put your finger on what they are, which is why I think I find them so interesting. For example, Jason can call upon his fans' help with an Order 66. 
When Jason gives an Order 66, his fans turn into the piss troopers and bombard the target with a relentless stream of online trolling. This can take the form of doxing the target's name and address, making prank calls, harassing the target's workplace, bombing social media accounts with a barrage of memes and weird messages and finding out unknown details on the target's past and telling the world. It started off as a small scale thing and would be used on people that kind of deserve it in some way, but Jason let the power go to his head and began calling all the 66s and all kinds of people for the littlest reasons. He even began to sell the service and would call his piss troopers to action for the highest bidder. Order 66, Jason Blaha. Jason Blaha is getting Order 66. Bloho. Order 66, him continue the attack on him. He deserves it. Brad Castleberry. Order 66 and will not stop until he's destroyed. Order 66, everyday damn fitness for being jealous of Johnny Bravo. He's an ugly old fat man and his wife's an old, ugly old fat bitch. Peace out, bye. 66 Potato Jones, Order 66, Mr. Potato Head Jones for not collabing with me. Better collab with me, Kenny K.O. Or else, taste the Lord's wrath. You better give me your cell phone number or this won't stop for months or years. I'm the only one who can call it off. Dan B B B Bilzerian and Bilzerian is getting Order 66 for screwing, uh, um, um, being getting to Order 66 on your candy ass. Attack him! Hard! Louie Marco, you're getting Order 66 or 66 Brittany Don Fitness. Dear fans, I'm not Order 66ing for a few days. I'm not abusing my privilege. Sorry for all the orders, all the Order 66s. It will stop. Order 66 J Masters. Order 66 Nate. Order 66 Nate. It's sick, it's pissed. Order 66 Dave Colombo. Keep up the Order 66 hard, guys. Keep it up. Yeah. You names, you're getting Order 66 again. Order 66 in your ass until you put me on R RMX muscle and give me some recognition on your show. Peace out, bye. Order 66 is both of their candy ass, bye. Notable example of this was the time that you called an Order 66 on a live streamer called Ice Poseidon. Someone that I'll do a video on at some point as it's a whole new rabbit hole to fall down. Anyway, after the Order 66, Jason randomly bumped into one of Ice Poseidon's live streaming buddies named Broke Malone. Broke Malone is known for fighting on camera, taking drugs, and being a bit of a loose cannon. Here's what happened when they met. I'm sorry, he bro. Called, he called all his boys to go in and do his little, what do you call it? The Order 66. Yeah, the Order 66. So don't ever do that. No, no I learned my lesson. Okay, don't ever do that again to fucking, no. I don't, you want to do that to other niggas that cool? But don't yeah, do like, it like small people. Small yeah. People. Well, I still I think it's fucked up morally. How do you think? But man? I apologize. But one man. day, I'm sorry, bro. one day a street nigga is it's gonna get mad and it's, 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 and it ain't no it ain't no game, bro. It's, nah, it's some ski mask shit. One, that one. It ain't no game. Nah, it's some I, ski mask. You'll get run up by yeah, by a real I, nigga and I, get that's fucked why I gotta up. I got to be careful what I do, man. It, like, it, I gotta be really careful. Cause, Cause people online, they think everything's safe online. There's separate community. But there's niggas like me. Mm. Who actually is out there with fucking real niggas right here? Lake Worth and Seacrest, Boynton and Seacrest. I apologize. And man. I will, I shit will get fucked up for my homies. So just I, don't say nothing about no, him and we no, cool. I'm cool, man. I'm okay. Cool now, man. Okay. okay. As long as you apologize. As I'm apologizing. Okay. I learned my lesson, man. So you made a mistake. Okay. So you apologize to Ice and all CX Army? Yeah. I okay. Apologize, bro. All right. All right. George Lucas is a story. It's like a Han Solo story. It's directed by George. The one that just came out? Like no, this is a Luke ago? Skywalker story. This is the one in 2021-22. Cause I I just got in a fight and I'm 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 fucking heated, bro. So yeah. like, what, what, what character? So I'm being Luke Skywalker. No, you're not. Yeah, I already signed contracts for like six hundred, seven hundred thousand. Is this guy for real? I'm not even lying. Look, I have to show you the emails. Do nah. I have to show you the emails? No, I'm He's just not being curious. for real. No, watch. I'm being for um, real. How did you recognize He's not being for real. How did you recognize He's him? He's known for, like, being yeah, autistic and, like, they throw... I'm not autistic, man. I'm ADD. You Asperger's. No, whatever. I don't have any of that. You don't know my disability. I've seen, I've seen when they throw your underwear no, and the I fucking lock... No, I have dyslexia lock. and I have OCD. That's what people don't realize. They, I'm actually a very intelligent person. That's a lot of different things. No, I'm not saying people with Asperger's can have intelligence in other no, forms no, of life, no. but I've seen when they throw your underwear out there and fuck... Yeah, and, that's my director. And make um, you... 
They make they throw this nigga's underwear out and they make him run out of the locker room in the middle of the gym and go and get his underwear while he gets clowned. Yeah, I've been talking to him like literally. I'm, yeah, I'm but over. he's straight. He's straight flexing right now. Like that's just straight flex. I thought it was funny, so I wanted to see how it would go and what how you <laughs> no, respond to him. But I'm out of here. Goodbye. Yeah. Nice to meet you. I wish you the best, but. You know. No, I already got fucking paid half my money. I'm going out. Yeah, money. yeah. Let's see the check. But so you know, I'm you get your I'm money. Shocked, but bro. yeah, this I'm just saying. Cool. I'm just saying, yeah. like, you know, you apologize, but you know, I, 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 when I just saw you, I was thinking about where I've been sticking you in your shit right then and there, bro. No, look, look me in the eyes. You talking to me now? Yeah. I was thinking about running up and sticking you in your shit right there. Yeah. Put, and I'll put you to sleep real quick, homie. All right. Okay. Sorry, so, I apologize, man. Okay. So you, cool now. No you apologize, y'all. Absolutely. You ever do anything again? I know your area, bro. Oh, I, I know where you at, folks, and everything. See you, uh, see you, buddy. It's nice seeing you, man. Man, stop talking to that nigga. Let's go. He's retarded. He ain't got shit. He's fucking autistic. The piss troopers were outraged by this. It's one thing to troll Jason, but to threaten him was a step too far. They mobilized and hit Broke's YouTube channel, all of his social media accounts. They hit his girlfriend's social media accounts. Broke was doxxed, sent threats, and Jay Masters even went to Broke Malone's house. I'm looking for the childhood home of Mr. Jared Ayer, or Orr, whatever his name is. The guy that we got uh, on video bullying Jason Genova. You do not fuck with Jason Genova no matter how much you hate him. Because we will get you. How would you guys like to be laying in your bed, hung over as fuck, because you're an opioid junkie, not even knowing that Jay Masters is stalking your parents' house live on Instagram. Where's 2400? 2400? Yeah. Because that's 2416, and there's nothing past that. Never heard of 2400. It'd be in the water. Yeah, it would be. Okay. You have a name? Jared Orr. Yeah. That's that, right there. Ah. He got kicked out by his dad? I don't know. Oh. What's going on over there? I'm an investigator. Oh. Okay. Yeah, he's in a little trouble. Oh, boy. Yeah. All right, thank you. How about that, folks? How about that? Was that fucking awesome? There's his house. I just fucked this guy. <laughs> it didn't take but fucking ten seconds for me to pull away, and the neighbor lady was chit-chatting with the lady across the street. I just fucked him. Things went so far that Broke Malone got kicked out of his house, his girlfriend left him and he made apology videos to try and get the piss troopers off his back. Why they hit my family? I hate this 666 shit, bruh. Why are they coming out to, you know, the girl I was with who don't fuck with me no more because of this shit? Whatever, I don't care, dude. Y'all know I move on. I talked to a guy named Bobzilla. Um, and he actually, at first, you know, he's like, are we, want, are we fighting? All right. But then he, I told him my side, his side. And I started to understand why everyone's doing this. This is like, even though he can be in the wrong, this is like their little brother. And they saw me bullying him, and now they're trying to fucking, and now that what makes them want to fuck my shit up, because that's people they have love for. I don't know if I can talk to some kind of party, or get on contact with Genova. Like I said, the whole fucking piss trooper army, y'all did your job, y'all got me kicked out. Good job, bro. That's fine, I deserve my karma. But quit fucking with my motherfucking family. That shit is not cool. Jason Genova, I do sincerely apologize to you, bro. I should not handle it the right way. I should not have even threatened violence. I'm sorry, bro. I did not mean to bully you. Like I said, I'm not a bully. I fight the fucking bully. But when I get fucked up and I black out and I'm zanned out, I become a fucking asshole.
The fact that Broke Malone was man enough to own up to his mistakes seemed to quench the piss troopers' thirst for blood and the Order 66 was over just as quickly as it had started. Another notable time was when Jason called an Order 66 on a famous bodybuilder named Rich Piana. Order 66 Rich Piana for not sponsoring me and uh, Order 66 Rich Piana. Rich Piana is getting Order 66. One a day is getting Order 66. Order 66 Rich Piana's candy ass. The order was given as Rich didn't sponsor Jason. But it turns out that Rich didn't even know who Jason was. And Jason wasn't exactly good at bodybuilding, so why would he get sponsored anyway? As I said before, Jason let the power go to his head. Rich was flooded with online hate, and this moment was largely forgotten until Jason went to a bodybuilding convention and insisted on going to see Rich. Then this happened. You ordered a 66 on me, right? Didn't you do that once? No! <laughs> you never did? No! I swear? I did! I did. You did? Why would you do that? I'm, I was just joking. You were just joking? Sorry, I'm sorry, bro. sorry. Sorry. Let me ask you a question. When you do that, you're kind of like fucking people's social media, right? Yeah. Sort of? Sort of. You think that's cool? No, it's not cool. It's not cool, right? Not cool. Sorry, you so you would never do that again? No, never do it again. I promise? I promise. Because honestly, like... I heard his feelings. Yeah, it doesn't hurt my feelings, it just kind of pisses me off, you know? Sorry, brother, sorry. I feel like I gotta do something back to you to get back to you, you know? No, sorry, oh, brother. Can I slap you around a little bit on camera? <laughs> what do you think? No, I'm sorry. You guys should all just a couple slaps to make us even? I'll pose that, pose that. How about a slap? How about, a, how about we slap box for like five seconds? You want a slap box? Yeah. Like five seconds? Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Okay? You're not gonna press charges? No. <laughs> You ready? 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 Are we good? Are we all good now? So you're never going to do that again, right? You promise? No more Star uh, what is it called? So you learned your lesson, right? No more of that. It's not cool. We all want to be friends, right? Okay, so no more of that. No more. We all we all need to get along. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So no more of that shit. So the piss troopers again mobilized and a flood of hate hit Rich with such ferocity that he made an apology video and agreed to meet Jason and let him slap him. One day I woke up, picked up my phone in the morning, um, went on my Instagram and I had, you know, approximately two hundred and something uh, just negative comments, you know. And um, when I say negative comments, they were, you know, they were, there were some pretty disturbing comments and, um, you know, like we're going to cut your head off and, and piss down your throat, you know, um, we're going to stab you a hundred times and let all the sickening, pissing oil run out of your body and you're going to, you know, die a slow death. Um, at this point in time, I didn't know who this Jason Denova person was and all I knew was that he was threatening my life and I watched that video and I said, okay, this is the guy. I've never seen him before in my life. I have no idea who he is. What is the purpose behind this? You know, I had never received anything of him asking to be an athlete. Um, so I was confused. Um, he didn't start off with an apology. He was, he was more concerned with just getting video footage of me and talking about doing a collab video, you know, with me. And that's all he was concerned with. If, uh, you know, if looking back, if I had any idea that he had a learning disability or was slow, I, I would have never taken it to that level. And, you know, so I, I apologize and I'm admitting to everyone that I was wrong for taking that level. You ready to slap? Yeah, yeah. You slap me? Yep. Can you get back with me? Yep. Okay, let's do this. Slap. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> this seemed to end the bad blood and both people moved on with their lives. Just kidding. Order 66 Rich Piana for being racist. Order 66 Sarah Piana. Rich later died and according to the autopsy report both his heart and liver weighed twice the average amount of an adult man. Jason decided to release this video about Rich's death. And Rich Piana died from his brain damage. Um... He didn't make it in the hospital. He died. Um, my thoughts, he never collabed with me again, so he deserves what he gets. Rich Piana deserves what he gets. He died. 
from um, brain damage. Jason receives more hate than normal and this video is put out to try and stop the online hate. Alright guys, I'm here with Jason and I had no clue. Jason, Jason, stop. Stop. Jason, come on. I had no clue about the video he put up last night. And until I was driving, I've been busy since I got in. And I got a bunch of calls and messages about some of the things he said. And when I asked him about it, he doesn't even realize what he said at all yesterday. So this is a tough situation. I'm trying my best to handle it. Um, I don't believe that he wishes bad upon no! anybody. So no. it's pretty tough. I had no idea any of this was happening. So I'm dealing with it. It should be noted that Rich was not dead at this point, but just in a coma with Jason thinking that he had died. I honestly don't really know what to think about this slapping incident. Jason for sure did deserve a slap and probably more to be honest, but he does have the innocence of a child and seeing a big strong man slap him around and the shaken look on his face doesn't really sit well with me, so yeah, I just don't really know. Probably my favourite Order 66 was an online bodybuilder named Cali Muscles who called Jason and his fans retards. Kai Muscle, Order 66 you is because you call me a retard. Kelly Muscles, who I guess is not familiar with Star Wars, mistook the Order 66 for some kind of satanic curse and used voodoo magic to fend off the curse. So that you have one is. I'll see you on the other side. Uh, uh, watch him behind me. He's always watching me. Yes, yes. See him? As I alluded to before, Jason's fans are an odd bunch. They seem to love and loathe him in equal measure. Like when Jason started to put more of his time into being a successful businessman. His video started to suffer and he started to mock the Genova witnesses and claim that he didn't need them anymore. He also put an Order 66 on Jay Masters. Yes, the guy that went to Broke Malone's house in defense of Jason. So, the piss troopers were in a bit of a predicament. Jay Masters was a misfit and Jason had called an Order 66 on him. So what were they to do? Well, it soon became apparent that Jason was only doing the Order 66 on Jay Masters as it was Jason's birthday soon and he was trying to call attention to this fact. So Brad, the guy that he had a love-hate relationship with, called for a mass unsubbing of Jason's YouTube channel. The idea took root and soon the date of Jason's birthday was chosen to enact the wicked plan. So the day came and over 5,000 people unsubbed from Jason's channel. This may not sound like a massive deal but to Jason this was the end of the world. He had been obsessed with being a famous YouTuber for such a long time now that he believed that anything below 40,000 subs was a failure and he was now getting very close to this number. And you always bully me and pick on me, and you're crazy. I love my fans, but you don't. Some of you trolls just pick on me and make fun of me and threaten to order 66 me and won't leave me alone. I don't want to unblock anybody who's threatening me and not not and threatening to so fucking mean to me. They won't leave me alone. I'm trying to help my fans. I'm trying to give them t-shirts in a couple of weeks. I just started a business, and you people are fucking with me. Stop it. Please stop! Give me a video of you fucking crying like a little bitch. What in the fuck was that nonsense? It was an act. It was an act? Yeah. You all of a sudden regressed to like seven years old again. Nobody likes me. <laughs> what? Jason, what? hold on, hold on. What? No, what, what the fuck were you thinking, honest? You will do anything for fucking views. <laughs> Do that you? was total bullshit. How many people fucking believe that shit? They probably sent you more money. Jason, wait, wait, wait. Jason, do you don't, understand don't the ramifications and consequences that are going to come as of you saying that was an act? Would you like to revise your statement? It wasn't an act. I was just fucking mad because people keep making fucking fun of me all over the internet and fucking... Oh, no, it wasn't an act. It wasn't. Five it minutes wasn't. ago it was. Tell no, it wasn't. It wasn't. They were fucking making fun of me and shit and fucking... They're all fucking disliking my business. What the fuck is up with that? Another story from the Genova verse that I like was the time that someone entered him into an online contest called Physique of the Week. Jason clearly had the worst physique by a long way but won the contest by over a thousand votes which upset the other contestants who had put a lot of work into winning. Jason on the other hand was overjoyed by this and began to brag to anyone who would listen about his win. However, 
The owner of Physique of the Week, a chap named Rick Hall, decided to overrule the decision and gave the win to the person who came in second place, which in fairness was going against the rules that he himself had set. Jason, as you can probably imagine, was unhappy about this and as you can probably guess, called an Order 66 on Rick Hall and Physique of the Week. So the piss troopers got to work and began to flood his social media with all kinds of weird stuff. They also started to contact Physique of the Week's sponsors and at this point Rick Hall begins to try and cover up the whole thing by deleting the contest, deleting the posts and disabling comments. It turns out that the sponsors actually stopped sponsoring the contest a long time ago and it's illegal for the logos to be used on the Physique of the Week's website. It's also discovered that Rick has been buying likes and comments for his posts and that he takes steroids while claiming to be a natural physique. This all got too much for Rick and he apologised and offered to give Jason the contest prize but the damage was done already and the physique of the week contest was completely destroyed. Do you have Burger King today? No! People are fucking hating bro, no! I did not have fucking Burger King! I did not! I'm going home to eat! What the fuck is wrong with these fucking... Jason, right, right. oh, no. Fuck! I'm oh. gonna kill them! Who? Fucking haters saying I went to Burger King. Do you I know who it is? I don't know. Who is it? I got a number. That's it. Make sure that they're a fan and he, you gave them my number to tell me. I did not go to fucking Burger King! Alright, well, hold on. I did hold not! Hold down, Jason. No temper tantrum. Fuck! I don't need that shit anyway. So Jason has tried to launch a music career a few times. My favourite part on this topic comes from the video he shot where he signs a music contract with a super legit looking lawyer. I'm here to verify the contract signing of this contract, which is going to be signed by both of these gentlemen. The terms and conditions of this contract are regarding the, pro the proceeds that are going to be made from their collaborative work called the Spaniard Shuffle, which is produced by DJ Jonas and performed by Jason Genova. Half of the royalties will go to Jason Genova and DJ Jonas. And half of the royalties are going to be divided equally. He and Jonas just signed the contract. We're splitting the royalties 50-50. The Spaniard Shuffle will be released June 7th on iTunes. Hope you guys buy it, and all right, peace out. Bye. Turns out the lawyer wasn't really a lawyer at all. Jason, yeah. remember the lawyer that negotiated the contract between you and Jonas? Yeah. You know, Scott Miller, yeah. the uh, Harvard Law School graduate. Yeah. Where is he from? We're kind of curious. Where did he go to law school? New York. New York. <laughs> yeah. Do you happen to know a name of the school? Syracuse, <laughs> New York. Syracuse University. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. <laughs> would, would you go to the corner of Atlantic and Swinton and pick up some hobo? <laughs> Wait, I was joking. Are you being serious? serious? You picked up some homeless asshole and threw, you threw a jacket on him and cleaned him up? Yeah. <laughs> Who was that guy? A bum. <laughs> yeah. Did you see the video? <laughs> He's homeless for real, bro. Turns out the lawyer wasn't really a homeless man, but one of Jason's old friends. Turns out the homeless lawyer wasn't one of Jason's old friends at all, but the reincarnated spirit of Rich Piana sent back to Earth to troll Jason with a fake music contract. Maybe the last one's a lie. But yeah, not only did Jason lie to his fans about the music contract and the lawyer, but he lied to the misfits about the lawyer being homeless. And this kind of sums up my view on Jason, really. He strikes me as being a bit of a dick. I've watched a lot of his videos and I've never seen him once do anything nice for anyone. Ever. Everything revolves around him and his desire to be famous, whether it's him being a famous YouTuber or an actor or a musician or a businessman or a bodybuilder. The people around him are only useful if they can help him achieve this goal. He doesn't seem to have any concept of how his actions impact others or if he does realise he just doesn't care, which in my eyes makes him a bit of a dick. But he is pretty likeable when he has an innocence which makes him hard to dislike really. 
so I see why the Genova witnesses have this contrasting view of him. So what is Jason up to these days? Well, his YouTube channel is no longer active. It's a little unclear what happened as Jason privated all of his videos at the same time that his channel was removed. But it looks like YouTube deleted it shortly after Piss Troopers inundated a catering business with troll reviews. Jason has withdrawn from the internet now and seems to have given up on his dreams to be famous. I give a message. I just want to um, make peace with people in the past and move on and move on in my life and you know, stay out of trouble and I'm done with social media and I'm just moving on, but I'm still alive. I'm out here in Florida. I'm still alive. Are you going to come back? No. Never? Probably never. Let's hope that he finds happiness in his next endeavours, whatever they may be. As long as he stays away from rap music. I got the hundred stacks, baby. You ain't got the flavor. Ice cream, you baby. Hollywood man. You know the flavor, stack baby, six stacks, you baby, I got the flavor. Thanks for watching, check out this video about another Delray misfit by the name of Big Lenny and bye bye. Because I'm pushing myself to the ultimate limit of physics. No, that's not the answer.